Today we're going to be comparing three of the most popular camera stabilizing grips. The least expensive model, the Opteca X grip, the slightly more expensive CamCaddy Scorpion, and the most expensive one, the CamCaddy Scorpion EX. In terms of size, they're almost about the same. They will all give you approximately 4.5 inches of vertical clearance and about 8 inches of depth. However, if you remove their accessory mounts, the clearance on the Opteca X grip rises to about 5.25 inches, while the clearances on both the the Scorpion and the Scorpion EX rise to about 5.75 inches. They will all fit small DSLRs and camcorders and they all allow you to mount your camera in several different orientations thanks to their slotted bases. However, the CamCaddies both have a few more slots than the X-Grip. The Opteca X-Grip comes with an accessory mount right out of the box. However, the comparable CamCaddy Scorpion does not. Nevertheless, you can buy as many accessory shoes as you need for the CamCaddy Scorpion and Scorpion EX to mount as many accessories as your rig needs. Each of these accessory mounts are pricey and currently retails for around $20 in the US. And some might argue that you could expand the accessory mount of the X grip with an inexpensive cold shoe extension bar. The Scorpion EX comes with one accessory mount, but it does sell at a much higher price than the other two. Another major difference between the Scorpion EX and the other two is that it can be mounted to a tripod with Cam Caddy's proprietary proprietary cheese plate which is sold separately. This is great if you need to mount your whole rig to a tripod at times. The cheese plate that CamCaddy sells is quite a pricey accessory and currently retails for about $50 in the US. The Opteca X Grip does have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom but its design makes it almost impossible to mount this to any decent tripod. They all have about the same amount of flex in their frames though CamCaddy does sell a lockout accessory which will reduce the amount of flex in the frames of the Scorpion and the EX. Now to test these three, we shot the same exact footage with the same camcorder mounted to each, and the result was really hard to tell. They all offer about the same exact level of stabilization, and that stabilization is really not comparable to a steady cam or glide cam. You can expect better grip, but very little in terms of active stabilization. One thing we didn't like about the X grip was a strong chemical smell from the foam handle. Some reviewers have complained about this and we do prefer the handle design on the cam caddies better. If chemical smells are an issue for you, you want to stay away from the X grip. On the other hand, the thumb screws on the cam caddies are really annoying. They're not secured to the slotted base and this makes it very easy to lose this when shooting out in the field or forget to take it accidentally. The X grip has its thumb screw locked in so you don't risk losing it. Overall thoughts, if you're on a tight budget, the Opteca X grip is a good starting point. However, if you value flexibility Flexibility more, you can spend a little more on the CamCaddy Scorpion, and if you absolutely need to mount your rig to a tripod, the Scorpion EX makes more sense. The links to these three products and their accessories are below. Hope this review has been useful. If so, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you own one of these, please tell us about your experience in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.